let's build an AI application in five minutes with Next.js and Vercel. We're gonna waste no time and get right into it, starting out with Create Next App, which is gonna scaffold our Next.js application. So I've already ran that on the left. I've got my code in my editor here, and I've already started my local application in the terminal too. So I have localhost 3000 running my application here. Now I could start building this UI myself, but we're building an AI application. So let's use some AI tools that are gonna help us scaffold our UI very quickly. Let's go over to v0.dev and I can either type in what I want or upload an image and quickly generate some React and Tailwind code that I can use in my application. So I typed in, I want this AI evals dashboard, just a pretty basic dashboard app. I pick the third option here, I like C best. So let's get this in our application. I'm gonna click code. There's two options. I can copy paste it directly or I can use the command line. So let's use the command line. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna stop my dev server and I'm gonna run this command. So we're going to use MPX to run this, copy paste this code locally based on that specific ID for the generation. So we can call this evals. And not only is it gonna copy the code, it's also gonna install the dependencies I need in my package JSON and create the new components that I need. So under the components folder, we have both a button a drop down menu and a table that were all created and necessary for this new evals component. So we've got the code. I think all we need to do now is just go back to our page. I'm going to get rid of basically everything inside of here. We're going to call this evals. We can get rid of this import. That all looks good to me. And then I'll restart my dev server, go back to localhost 3000, refresh the page and we have already mobile and responsive code. You can see the sidebar shows up depending on where my browser is at. And we have our code running locally already. But we want to actually talk to some AI model, some large language model, and use it to chat inside of our interface. So if I go back over to V0, we could continue building off of this. So what would it look like if I wanted to add some chat interface in here? Well, I could start a completely new generation and say, make a chat UI where there's some input or some button that I can use. But one really cool feature of V0 is that I can actually fork my initial version. So what I've done here, I've forked the initial version and I've made a few revisions to add this new Ask AI tab on the left. So let's do the same here. We'll click on code to get the code. I'll click the copy button. We'll go over, paste this in our terminal, MPX V0 add, and then the ID for that component. And we'll call this chat. So that's gonna add it to the components directory here. I'll make a new folder inside of app. We'll call this chat. We'll put a new page in here. We'll call it page.tsx. And then what we're gonna want inside of here is instead of component evals, we actually want to return something different, which is gonna be that chat component. So we've got that. And let's just run this locally again, and we'll see how it's looking. So I'll reload the browser and I'm gonna to go to slash chat. And okay, so this looks good. We've got our chat interface ready. Now let's actually hook up this UI to a large language model and start streaming back a response from the chat. So over for the Vercel AI SDK, I'm gonna click on the Next.js pages router and we're gonna start copy pasting some code in. So let me copy this code. I'm gonna go back over here. We're gonna install some dependencies. So AI for the AI SDK and then open AI is what we're gonna use. Inside of API chat, we're gonna make a new file called route.ts and we're going to paste in this code. So really what this code is going to do is, is it's going to use OpenAI and it's going to use the AI SDK to connect to OpenAI and then to take in some message or some prompt from our front end, pass it to a chat completion from the 3.5 turbo model and then stream back the response. So we've got our server code with that API to allow us to securely connect to our large language model. But now let's hook up the front end to actually do the chatting. So if I go over here, I see there's this code for this chat component, which uses this React hook to chat with the AI SDK and then display the results. So I'm gonna copy this code. And if I go back over here right now in this component, we're just using this chat component. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm probably gonna do something like this. And what I really want actually is I kind of want to shift this up to the layout. There's going to be a shared part of my application. It's just this part here that's kind of got the unique bit. So maybe inside of chat, if we scroll down, we have this main and then we have this element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And right now I'm just going to put this as children. We'll come back to that. 
And we're going to go inside of here and paste this in. Okay, that looks fine. Now, the form handler had an on submit. So we're going to take this form, cut this, drop this in here. The input had the value, so it's a control component, and then the handle input change. So let's put that inside of this component. And then we have a button that's a type submit. So we'll do type submit. Ooh, trying to speed run this. Okay, so that gets rid of this. Then we need to iterate over the messages. So we can do that here. And we'll do this. And then this, we can take that. We don't need that. And really, we just need the class name here to make this look good. So we can use the list item. We'll do that. OK, now we need some input and button components as well, too. So let's import these components from our components file. We can get rid of this div, export default function. This is going to be the page. Uh, we can get rid of all of this. OK, actually, yeah, that looks good. Export default function page. Oh, I forgot my imports. I just deleted them. Ah, bring those back. Speed run. OK, boom. If prettier saves, you know we're doing good. OK, so we saved this, and now we need to lift up that UI to the layout. So going back to here, we had the children that we subbed in. Let's just take this whole thing. I'm going to cut it, and we can just close this out for now. We don't need this. And inside of here, I'm going to go to Let's just do a nested layout here. We can make this better if we wanted to, but layout here, sure, all this looks fine. Not using that. Function chat layout. This is gonna take in some children. And okay, that all looks good, saves. Okay, let's reload. So now I've already added an environment variable to hook up to OpenAI so that I can use my own token. So let's say I wanna say what is Next.js, hit enter. User, what is Next.js? AI. Next.js is a popular open source web development framework. So here in this really fast speed run, we were able to copy paste some components for our UI, copy paste in some code to talk to an LLM. And pretty quickly, we've built our own chat bot that we could extend and refactor and add a bunch more things in here if we wanted to. So I hope this really fast speed run was an interesting example to get you started coding with AI with V0 and with the AI SDK. If you want to see more AI content, hop on over to Vercel and check out our AI integrations or leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see. Peace.